Whether you're building a brand new uh, SharePoint intranet or updating an existing SharePoint site, there's this common misconception that in order to make your site look good, you need to do a lot of coding to write code. And although this was more true in the past, uh, now you hardly need to write any code to make your site look good. And today I'll use an example of uh, an HR page um, and show you how to make this page look beautiful, bright, modern, and easy to use. So to do all that, uh, we're gonna use Origami web parts installed in my Office 365 environment. And I'll post links to each of the web parts so you know exactly the steps that I took to configure them in my environment. And if you don't have Origami tools, uh, be sure to check out the link below to see how you can get them. All right, let's get started. In this video, we'll be creating an HR page because it's one of the most commonly used pages on any internet. And this is how I want my page to look in the end. I want my page to look very bright and welcome each employee individually. I want them to see links to the most commonly used uh, HR resources. Now, since my company is growing, I want everyone to see who's joining the company and for new employees to feel warm and welcome. So I'll have this area to welcome new employees. Uh, next, I want new joiners to know what their onboarding process is like, so they're not left in the dark. Uh, this will also have links to each of these steps, so employees can easily find any relevant resources uh, or forms that come with each of these steps. This, ne this next area showing all of the HR-related forms and policies will help my existing employees easily find the things they need on as needed basis. So for example, it may not be often that employees need pay stub adjustments done, uh, but when they do, it's intuitive for them to find it here on the HR side, right at the top, because all of these links are ranked according to their popularity. Right next to the forms, I have the latest town hall recordings and HR related articles. Uh, these videos can live securely on Microsoft Stream or another platform you want to use. And so the staff directory will help new employees find their colleagues by either department or by skill or another attribute. And because this directory will be connected to Microsoft 365, as soon as the new user is added to the system, this directory will update automatically. And finally, for anything that employees might ask, uh, there is this beautiful and modern looking FAQ section. So if I'm in HR and I get emails about the same thing over and over again, I can post it here uh, for employees to find. Okay, let's go ahead and build this page on my new SharePoint site. So this is a brand new HR page that's blank and I'm logged in as someone who can edit the page, hence I see this uh, edit button. So let's go ahead and click edit. And the first thing that we want to do is add that nice looking banner to the page. So I'm going to click a plus button and add a full width section. And I'm going to pick this app here uh, called banner with links. All right, so it has some demo content already entered here. And I'm going to click on the edit web part button right here. And I'm going to leave this welcome, uh, Andrew, so it's automatically going to recognize who's logged into the site and uh, perhaps add a little bit more description. And while we're looking at it, I wanted to point out that you can change the color of this banner. I'm gonna keep this nice looking gradient that makes things look fresh and bright. And down below here, we already have the, uh, a box ticked here, show quick links. So this is, these are the quick links that are shown here. And let me show you how you can uh, modify these quick links. So I'm gonna temporarily publish this page and I'm gonna come back to it in just a second. But to access the uh, content of these quick links and change them or and change the icons, I would click on gear and then site contents. And then from here, there's my list called quick links. And this is how easy it is for me to change any of the labels here, any of the icons and where these uh, uh, URLs point to. Okay, so let's go back to our page and keep modifying it. All right, so let's click edit again. Now I have my header. Next, let's go ahead and add a um, employee welcomes. So I'm going to add a text here and say new employee welcomes and make the text a little bigger and a little bolder. 
and center it just so it's in line with all of the other things that I have here. And I'm gonna add a new app here and it's called Idea Directory. An idea directory is really a place for uh, employees to, um, in our case, to welcome uh, new employees. If you also in your organization are using Yammer, you can use Yammer instead. But the idea directory is really great uh, way if you don't have Yammer and you would like to enable some social interactivity. So I'm gonna pick a site where I wanna store all of my uh, new employee welcomes. And here they are. Now I see all of my employee welcomes. All right, let's keep modifying this page. Okay, so a new hire roadmap is the next thing I wanna do. So let's a little, add a little bit of a space here between the next section. And one of the easiest way that you can copy one of those labels is to make a copy and drag it down just like that. And I'm gonna change this text to new hire roadmap. And what I'm gonna add here is another full width section to show a, uh, a list of steps that new employees will be going through to onboard. So I'm gonna pick process, steps, and timeline web part. And you'll see that this, uh, this application is asking for uh, a place to read the data from. So in my case, I already have a list created. I'm gonna show you that in a moment, but I have a list called onboarding process. And as you can see, the moment that I finish typing that up, it shows me this onboarding process. So let me save the page for a moment and show you what this uh, list looks like. Similar to Quick Links, uh, we're gonna click on gear, site contents. And here's my onboarding process list. And similar again to Quick Links, you have our steps, um, the order in which they appear, and uh, uh, the details of each step, the icon, and any URL. And you can also even define the color of each of the steps to kind of show how you're gradually progressing to the next step. So that's how easy it is to add or remove or modify steps in, in this uh, onboarding process web part. All right, let's go back to the page and keep uh, making it beautiful. Okay, so next I want to add uh, a library for employees to be able to find any forms, policies, and templates. So I'm gonna click on a new section here and add a two column section uh, first, I'm going to add a little bit of a header here. And then here, I'm going to add town halls and updates. Okay, so below here, I'm going to add a new app uh, we call Info Directory. And similar to the steps or quick links uh, above, what this info directory does, it pulls a list of forms from the info directory list behind the scenes and it sorts them in a, uh, in a sort of a popularity. The most popular forms go to the top. So you can see that these are the forms that uh, made it to the top based on their popularity search. And as, a, as an administrator, I can click new here and add a new form and associated files and perhaps even a tag to, to each of those forms. So this is where I'm, my employees are going to find policies and templates, HR specific policies and templates. And in this section, I can add a little bit of uh, uh, interactive content like uh, town hall videos, updates, um, uh, different articles. So in my case, I'm actually going to use stream application uh, and I'm going to pull uh, videos from the stream. So I'm going to click on the edit button here and you can see that you can pick a specific video, a specific channel or address to the specific channel. In my case um, I can pick all of the stream and pull out the uh, videos that I have in my stream account. And here are some videos, some sample videos I have of course you would have more uh, corporate specific videos. And by the way, an interesting thing about this, this app is if I modify the dimensions of it, it's, it squeezes the videos and they look kind of like this. So you have a choice of how you want the design of these videos to look like. Um, this is pretty good because you can see exactly what's on your page. Okay, let's keep adding more content to, our make, to make our page beautiful. Okay, so next type of content I wanna add is the staff directory. So I'm gonna add a brand new uh, heading here called staff directory. And I'm gonna add the staff directory application. And one of the things that you can do in the staff directory is change the number of uh, accounts that are, or people uh, profiles that are showing. I'm gonna change this to eight because it fits nicely in my uh, page here. Uh, you can always page through uh, different accounts and you can see there's a lot of different 
uh, types of uh, toggles that are available here. We're just going to leave most of the things as is uh, so that employees can find uh, their peers easily either through a skill search or a department search. So that's staff directory. And the final thing that I wanted to add here is I want to add uh, ability for employees to ask or receive frequently asked questions. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to add another heading here. I'm going to call it got questions. And I'm going to add our FAQ full width application here. This one FAQ modern and it already has some FAQs pre-populated. And these FAQs, again, if I click publish the page, these FAQs come from an FAQ list on my site. So if I click on gear again and site contents, there's already pre-populated FAQ list uh, on here. And of course, you would update your own FAQs uh, with the content that you like. So if I go back, here is essentially my FAQs and the rest of the page exactly how I want it to be. Of course, you can modify, mix and match different applications, but you can see this, uh, this uh, page is much more modern, much more bright and much more user friendly. Uh, so, and that took only just a few minutes for us to update. So that's how easy it is to turn your basic SharePoint site into a shiny new and easy to use uh, resource for your employees. Uh, check out the links below for all of the manuals that we used uh, for applications that we used in this video. And if you have any comments or questions, type them up below. We'll love to hear from you.